and guess also if I got it before or after the price increase. Yes, friends, we did some damage. <laughs> Chanel always gets me. Definitely, I have purchased a few items. I have one, two bags, a little box here. Also something from the beauty department that I'm already wearing. And yes, I went ahead and purchased a handbag. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, this trip to the Chanel boutique was so successful. I was able to get my hands on a couple pieces that I was eyeing to begin with. And then another piece that I had on my wish list too. Can you guess? Can you guess? Can you guess? Can you guess? And as per usual, I will be leaving details of what I'm wearing in terms of like makeup, nail polish, um, jewelry. Everything will be in the description box below along with the links for your convenience. The pieces that I'm unboxing, they are new pieces. I may be able to find them on the pre-love market. If I do so, they will be, again, link on the description box below. But let's unbox the first thing. Now, I'm going to be very honest with you. I have already unboxed everything because I was just so excited. <laughs> you know, I have been moving and I need to put this stuff away. So here, a hanger. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it is a ready to wear piece. But as soon as I saw it on runway, I was like, oh my gosh, this looks incredible from the 24S collection, the current collection. This beauty, oh my gosh, wait and see. You know, I'm gonna pose a quick picture right here so you can see it on the model that's the piece so basically it's a dress a tank top that is i mean it's kind of mesh like a little bit see-through but not too much i mean with a nude brow or a white brow or even if you just want to use i don't know that nipple covers it should be fine and then it has the cc logo on the middle and it's kind of it looks like a two-piece set like a little skirt see right there and the skirt is not translucent it's actually heavy material it does have a little bit it's not a mesh i don't know if you're gonna be able to see it oh there you go so it does have a little bit of a design and then some translucency right on the center but it's it's not too much it's nothing that is revealing that is going to show a lot and then it has these kind of sleeves that you may think oh my gosh are those can you use these as a crop top maybe i try you cannot use it as a crop top because this is not true and true a sleeve. I mean, on the other side is sewn in, so really you cannot put your hand on it, which is unfortunate because literally, I mean, look, if this is open, I mean, maybe I can send it to be altered and just have this open on this side and see if, I don't know if I can use it also as a crop top because it would look so cute. But anyhow, this sleeve pieces it comes in the in both of the sides and basically you just put it on the front do a nod and just as represented right here on the runway is very casual very beachy vibe and i feel that for being a chanel dress although you may think about these kind of like um by the pool kind of dress i mean regardless i, th I think the price I mean, the prices of Chanel are way too high, <laughs> obviously. I mean, you're paying for the brand. But to pay below, I mean, this is not bragging. I know some people, they like to know. And these prices are also, I'm pretty sure at the website, is below $4,000. Um, I think for being a Chanel dress, it's very, quote-unquote, low cost for Chanel ready to wear. And this is from the 24S collection. So so happy I was able to get my hands on it because as soon as I saw it on the runway, I was like, that's totally me. You know, my friends, I love summer, resort, beachy vibes. This is just me in a beach dress. The other piece come in this little box <laughs> that I also have opened it because it came with all of the camellia and you know, it was so beautifully wrapped, but again, it was just me and my excitement. And this piece is actually not from the 24S collection, but from the 24P collection. And when you see it, you know I got it. You know I got it. You know I got it because it's this baby. <laughs> it's the baby, the, the sister of my pearly bag that I got from the 24P collection. It doesn't have the same kind of finish in terms of the sheen that iridescent finish of my 
mini square bag, but I mean, the same kind of color, a muted pink, almost mauve tone, cool tone. I had been wanting to add to my collection a card holder from Chanel, but one of these ones, the flat ones, but all of them were like, okay, the typical one, which is not that it's bad, it's okay, you know, um, the CC logo is tiny and whatnot, but the ones that really caught my attention and call my attention the most are, for example, the ones that they have the interlaced braided kind of leather with the metal kind of CC logo. But every time that I see them, I'm like, you know, that's going to be a bad purchase, Jacqueline, because the metal is going to start scratching the interior of your bag. So when I knew this was coming, I was like, this could be perfect because the actual pearls are so soft and smooth, they will not scratch the leather interior of my bags. So I thought, you know, this, this has to be it. And the thing is, the first time when I went at the Chanel boutique, as soon as the collection, you know, was released, they didn't have it available, at least not in this color. And not even, the, did they have it in the black one? I think they had it in the black one, but I'm like, no, I really want something with color, pretty much any color, but just something color. And on this last visit to the Chanel boutique, they had this beautiful muted pink. I thought, okay, this will go with everything. It's kind of like a neutral color. It's kind of like that beige color that is not like super, like a huge pop, but it just, it just has its own beauty. So there you have it friends. And now what I got from the beauty department and tell me if this wrapping isn't it the most gorgeous thing that you have seen? <laughs> this is the Mother's Day wrapping from Chanel. I mean, like, not as beautifully wrapped as they did because, again, I had already opened it. I have already showed it on my Instagram. Perhaps even the video reviewing the products that I purchased from the beauty department may be already up on my channel, but I know not all of you are watching just my makeup videos. Some of you, you come for, you know, the shopping at Chanel, the shopping at Hermes and all of that. <laughs> so take an advantage right here to show it. And yeah, if my review is up, I will be leaving it up on the cards. So what I got from the beauty department, from that new Levage collection, the Healthy Glow Sun Kiss Oversized Powders. Oh my goodness. Friends, don't miss out. They come in five different collections. All of them gorgeous the bronzers oh my goodness they have from light medium all the way to deep bronzers i mean really they here they hit hard into try to cater for every skin tone possible i mean i was tempted to get all the palettes don't get me wrong but i don't need all the palettes let me tell you these palettes are incredible go and watch my review the side by side comparisons here you go, this is medium coral, stunning, isn't it? The Levage packaging, total summer vibe, and then the medium rose gold. <laughs> so precious, so, so precious. The medium rose gold is the one that I'm using on this side, and then the medium coral, I'm using it on this side over here. They have, they don't have glitter, they don't have shimmer, no mica particles, nothing of that, but they have a glorious sun kiss glow goddess kind of finish. Amazing, amazing. And then Chanel, just same as Dior, they have launched new single eyeshadows. So I picked up three of them. I'm sure you knew. <laughs> but I went ahead and pick up this one. I have all of these on my eyes right now. I mean, all of these things. I have them on. <laughs> And then this gorgeous Brun Talpa taupey satin shade. So beautiful. And then a very unexpected shade. It's a topper from Chanel. It looks white, but as you turn it, I don't even know if this camera will be able to show it to you. Although it's a 4K camera and whatnot, you know, sometimes these kind of shades, you just have to see them in real life to appreciate them, but it has a chief to it. So it does have a kind of pearlized undertone, but then as a chief, it's like a little bit pink and champagne, and it's stunning, stunning. And when I say topper, it's not a glitter, balm topper. It's not gonna give you really like a wet eyeshadow look, although it can or it may. 
I need to still explore more of it and apply it with zero, you know, like no eyeshadow and just use that. I mean, I will report back and I couldn't resist and I bought the new Noir Allure Mascara, but in the lilac shade. I know, I know, I know, I know. I got it. <laughs> I got it. This is very different. I think if you're going to use, you know, a shade of mascara that is not your typical black or brown, I will say perhaps use it when you don't have any eyeshadow on your eyelids or when you have something that is very light or perhaps just a little bit of a bronzer, but there you have it, friends. I gave in. And my sweet beauty advisor, she sent me a little gift. Do you see what it is? It has the same neon strands. It is a friendship bracelet with the chameleon in the middle. Isn't it this so cute? It's not a paper. It's, I mean, I, I will not dare to put it under water, but it is just so pretty. Let's see if it fits me. <laughs> I haven't used this kind of friendship bracelets in a long time. I mean, the closest that I have is the one from Dior that I share with my oldest daughter. But this is just super cute. Look at that. <gasps> a Chanel Camellia friendship bracelet with summer colors. And these two colors together, this hot pink and hot orange are one of my favorite neon shades for summertime. I mean, like... <laughs> Give me summer like this only the camellia so cute so so cute my beauty advisor I mean like all my advisors in Chanel I have zero complaints they are amazing they are like normal humans that they like to help each other and they just have you know this happiness and they I, I just I just love them love them love them love them to pieces I you know I wish that this collection will come out with nail polishes that they are vibrant like this i think it will be fun don't you think i i know i am ready for summer okay. and a little sample from that new exclusive eau de parfum by chanel comet <laughs> and i have been testing this fragrance for a little bit over a week you have another sample and honestly this fragrance i love absolutely love i mean like by now if you have watched my review on the new levage collection you know i love this fragrance I love the opening, the heliotrope, that almond scent, that crystalline aldehyde, the musky notes, but then it just develops to an iris kind of scent, which I'm not opposite of, but it's powdery, it's very skin-like, it's very like intimate kind of fragrance, very beautiful, sophisticated, very well done, the Chanel way, meaning that it's not, I mean, yes, there's so many iris, kind of fragrances out there, but this is very Chanel-esque. If anything, it perhaps kind of reminds me a little bit too, there is an iris fragrance from Hermes that kind of reminds me to this one, but I feel this one is just a little bit more powdery. Fun and different. Is it groundbreaking for Chanel? No, but I feel like it's it's one of those missing puzzles on that exclusive collection that I'm happy Olivier Pouge thought into, you know, just filling that gap. Something that he was truly missing in the collection of Chanel exclusive. Would I actually purchase that? Well, that is to be seen. <laughs> but we'll see on that. But mm, here to the last unboxing, a bag. Oh my gosh, it is a bag. And yes, do I'm going to act like I don't know what it is? No, I'm not. <laughs> Because like I said, I couldn't resist it. I already opened it up. It's here. Let me let me just take it out. I mean, should I say guess? Guess what bag it is? And guess also if I got it before or after the price increase. Ah! It's a given right there. Maybe I already gave it away with a thumbnail. I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know. But here you go, my friends. Let's see. This is a bag that has been on my wish list and I had to pull the trigger. It is a small Chanel classic flap in caviar leather. 
goal hardware i mean goal we all know <laughs> we all know it's not plated gold as it used to be but it's gold and here's the beauty oh my gosh again the biggest question did i get it before or after the price increase that just happened this last march 27 I made my last decision. I actually had it on my head for a couple days and I said, you know what? I'm gonna pull the trigger and I'm gonna get it before the price increase. So yes, I got it before the price increase. And the reason why I got it is like, and you're gonna tell me, Jacqueline, but you should have got it in the pre-love market. Maybe, maybe I should have. But for some reason, okay, this is the thing. You always go, no matter what, with a little bit of a risk in the pre-love market, even though you can go ahead and, you know, have the piece being authenticated by a third party assigned to the place that they are selling it to you and whatnot. I get it. I get it. But I don't know, just these specific piece, just same thing with Hermes bags. I don't know why I'm a little bit shouldn't say apprehensive, but in a way I am. And you know, my friends, that I had bought before a Chanel bag pre-love that wasn't even pre-love. It was actually brand new, but in the pre-love market, it was the Chanel 19 in caramel. One of my favorite bags is still in my collection and I bought it from Redelux. And this is not a sponsor by Redelux, but I have so much trust in Georgia, her husband. They are people with such high values and moral. I remember back on the time when I was purchasing my Chanel 19 bag, I had so many questions, like so, so many questions. And Georgia was there throughout the entire time to answer all of my questions. And it wasn't about like, I'm going to show it on my channel. It's going to be an exchange for, you know, like uh, I'm going to promote you. Nothing of that. It was literally just helping out. And I came so happy out of that purchase. But another episode that really, really, it was like, wow, you know, I would trust Redelux, I trust Georgia. It is when, I don't know if you watched Tamara, but unfortunately they break into her house and they stole all her bags and all her luxury collection. And this happened a couple years ago. So if you have watched, I mean, I will highly suggest you to go and watch the story from Tamara, but Literally, she has been tracing her bags and she has seen her bags in the pre-love market, even with a serial number, etc. And a lot of people, a lot of these pre-love sites, they have not been wanting to help her out to kind of trace where is the bag coming from. You know, not necessarily because the person who is now trying to resell it necessarily had been involved with, you know, the robbery, but just to trace it, you know? And one of her update videos, she mentioned it, how Georgia from Redelux, she ended up having one of the bags that was from Tamara and Tamara explained to her and Georgia was hands down to help her out throughout the entire journey to the point that she even returned her bag. I mean, returned her bag. I mean, like, you know what that means? It means a lot to go be above and beyond. Tamara wasn't buying something from Redelux she was just trying to trace who these people that enter into her house, into her privacy, stole all her property. So again, this is not pay for no show, nothing with red lags. It's simply just saying like, I mean, I go with a lot of caution if I want to buy something on the pre-love market. And that being said, this bag, at the rate that it has been going up, not only at Chanel itself that they have been raising the price, but also in the pre-love market, it doesn't lose its value, whether you buy vintage or whether you buy the new ones. Obviously, the, with the vintage, you're getting, you know, the plus and the bonus that the hardware is gold plated, while this one is not plated. I get it. But I don't know. I just said, you know what? In you know, when is gonna be the right time? A couple years ago, I bought my Chanel Classic flap in the beige color. At that time, I felt like it was really expensive. And look at now, I mean, like it's almost $2,000 more than when it was two years ago. So these are gonna just go up in value. And although I don't consider any luxury items to be an investment piece, I see that they most, I mean, not always, but most likely it will not lose the value like this. Does it make sense? I mean, it will have to happen something really big to Chanel 
for these bags, at least the classic flaps, to lose their value. I mean, it's a different story if we're talking about, you know, the seasonal bags, because it all depends on the hype that they have, but a classic is a classic. It's like buying, you know, from Hermes. I'm not talking about quality, and I'm not talking about craftsmanship and all of that. No, I'm just talking about, you know, like comparing in terms of the iconic bag, right? For Hermes, it's a Birkin bag. I know, different craftsmanship, different material. We all know that. I inspected my bag. It's in pristine, beautiful condition. I mean, like brand new, obviously. And this one is not necessarily, because it's a black one, it's not necessarily from the 24S collection because a classic is a classic. They don't label it per the collection, but I mean, it was produced with a 24 and it's the small size, which is very, very hard to get even at the boutique because the small one, I don't know if it's only because of the price that is a little bit less than the medium, um, but just the size itself, it's such a cute size, it's big enough, it's just, it, it looks so pretty, it looks so pretty. And my bag is actually made in France, it's probably inside, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it, but yeah it's made in france and it has a cheat code on this other side <sighs> honestly i was tempted to even get this bag also in black but in lambskin leather but i already have my mini top handle in lambskin and i also have my mini rectangular in lambskin too so i said you know what let's just go for a caviar leather on this one and yep let me know if you will be interested for me to do comparisons. I do have a medium classic flap, as I do this a small one in another color. And if you want to see it compared with the mini square, the mini rectangular, <laughs> you know, the mini top handle, let me know if that will be helpful for you. If you're looking to buy in the pre-love market, I don't know. I don't know, but I did it. I pulled the trigger and I'm so happy that at least I pulled the trigger before the price increase because like I said, I mean, like, when it's going to be the right time. I mean, it was the right time, perhaps like five, six, seven years ago. It was the perfect right time to buy these type of bags. But now it's kind of like, you know, buy vintage, buy pre-love, buy new. That, I mean, like if you keep waiting for another price increase, it will happen. I mean, it will happen again, no matter what, it will happen. It happens with every brand, price increases. They're going to happen no matter what. <laughs> okay, friends. And this next item for this video, this massive Chanel unboxing, everything from handbag, ready to wear, beauty items and whatnot. Let me know if you have any of these items, if you have been eyeing them or which items from, say, Chanel you have been eyeing or you have in your wish list. Let's just continue that conversation in the comment section down below while you're at it. And if you haven't done so yet, well, I want to invite you to do something that is completely free. Subscribe to my channel because if you like everything that is luxury fashion, luxury beauty, you have found your place right here. If you're on Instagram and TikTok, please come and follow me there. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with family and friends. And if you are not done watching my content, I will be leaving a couple other videos at the end of the screen that I'm sure you're going to love. Until the next time, I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful day. Bye-bye.